Okay. <laughs> Happy Sunday morning. Happy redo on the video. I had to reboot. I don't know what's happening with my phone this morning. I'm going to blame it on the Facebook because I don't think it's my fault. I didn't do anything different. So, sorry for that little intermission. Um, but I'm back and hopefully it will work this time. Um, Alright, so where am I? I've got my... I've got... I still need to turn on my comments. This stupid thing. Alright, somebody say something so I can know that my comments are working because I'm just having a heck of a time this morning. See, now, it, now it's Ann Baldwin who I'm seeing repeatedly join the call. <laughs> All right, Cindy, I see your comment, but it's doing the same thing. Ann Baldwin is watching. Now it's Ann Baldwin a thousand times. So hi, Ann. You're joining my call, my video a thousand times. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to attempt to make Eggs Benedict. I've never made it before. I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, it could be a terrible failure and just have an egg scramble on my plate, but either way, it's going to be tasty, and I'm going to give it a go. So, I've got some water, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's see if I can bend that some. All right, I've got some water boiling here for my poached eggs. So, I'm going to try out, let's see, I'm going to try out a poached egg. So, they said to add a tablespoon of vinegar, which I did, and get a slotted spoon doing. I just found it. Okay. Crack my egg into a bowl. Okay. And then, let's see. And then stir it and get it stirring in a vortex, they said. A vortex. So, I gotta get a vortex going can't take that long to get a vortex. All right, there's, that's not a vortex. Come on. Stir. Okay, there's my vortex. I'm going to slowly dump my egg into the middle of that vortex. And look at that, it's swirling just like it does on Gordon Ramsay. Keep going. And then let it sit. Okay, it looks like it might actually work. The vortex has stopped, the egg vortex. So, all right, while that's doing its thing, it said to get my, let me see, I wrote it down. Boiling water, before you put your bowl on the heat, this is for the hollandaise sauce while that egg is doing its poachy poachy. Um, I'm going to add I need I need butter okay I wrote these all in the weirdest order so I need butter I need three tablespoons of melted butter so you're gonna laugh at me but I set my butter dish somewhere last night on top of the coffee maker without thinking that it was going to melt my butter and look what it did. So I have a whole bunch of melted butter right here and I'm going to flip it into the lid. Look at that. I have melted butter right <laughs> So I need, and it's actually separated into um, ghee and, and so, look at that. Ghee and the other stuff. I don't know. Alright, I can keep an eye on my all right, so there's one, two, three tablespoons of melted butter. Now, what I wasn't thinking when I just flipped that upside down is how am I going to sit it? Will it sit like that? Oh, it will. Perfect. <laughs> i got to find something else to make melted butter with. Okay, I think my egg is coming along. I've never poached an egg before, so I really don't know. Your tater tots are done, my dear. So you may come get them. 
I will get them for you. I have to get, I have to get the tater tots out for the daughter. Or, yeah, I'll say they're mini hash browns so I don't look like mother of the year. Cause I'm letting my kitty eat tater tots for breakfast. Whatever. Okay, I got my melted butter. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to heat in a bowl. I need to combine, I think my poached egg is done. I'm, wow, this takes a lot of effort, you guys. I don't know how long it takes to poach an egg, but I can tell it's still not done. Maybe my heat needs to go a little bit, no. Be patient, KJ, it will poach. It will cook, just wait it out. Okay, I need to, I need another bowl. How many dishes am I gonna dirty this morning? And how much stuff am I gonna knock on the floor while doing it? Eats cold corn with tartar sauce. Bonnie, you lying. Cold corn and tartar sauce? You must have typed that wrong. That's the strangest breakfast I ever done heard. Why did I get this bowl out? I got it out for my, all right, I think my egg is poached. I guess, I don't know. It said to sit them on paper towels. Don't break, don't, I need a different spoon that's gonna break that egg. Delicate little bugger. Oh my gosh, look. I just poached an egg. Look how beautiful it is. I can't believe I did it right the first time. And it's boiled basically, but partially and slowly in vinegar. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just poached an egg and Gordon Ramsay wasn't here to call me a donkey because I got it right. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Focus, KJ. All right, I need to heat, I need to whisk together. I need to whisk together an egg yolk. Where? Yes, one egg yolk. So I'm gonna get my yolk. Get out of there, white. Nobody wants you. Alright. Oh, this is exciting. I'm gonna whisk my egg yolk, a teaspoon of lemon juice. Alright, let's get an actual teaspoon and measure this right. Whisk together until combined. I know the acid starts to like break down the egg. So before I put that in there, I need to get my whisk. All right, whisk them together, fully combined. And then put the bowl over, reduce your heat on your pan. I'm gonna do it all the way to low because my pan. And then whisk constantly until frothy and thickened, which is about three to five minutes. And I'm gonna set a timer for three minutes just so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. <sighs> Rita, these are Ninja Foodie pans. They're stupid beautiful. This is the first time I've ever used them and I'm really excited by it. Like this is the tiniest amount of egg. Like how am I supposed to whisk this until frothy when it's this little minute? It says it will be frothy, thick, and grows in volume in three to five minutes, but I have to whisk constantly. And while that's going, I'm gonna stick my English muffin with my other hand into my air fryer and I'm gonna toast it up while that's whisking. Look at that, I am adjusting the time and whisking at the same time, girl. All right, it is thickening. I don't 
don't want it to scramble and the edges look like it's scrambling a little. I think my heat is too high because this is as low as my stove goes. It is definitely starting to scramble some. I don't think I can keep, if I go any further with that, it says three to five minutes. I can't go that much farther. Now it says remove it from the heat. Yeah. Slowly add your butter and whisk fast. It's breaking, it's not working. Actually, I take that back. I don't know. You just put it back on the heat to keep the it got awful thin after I took it off the heat and put that stuff in it. Butter. I mean, stuff. Gosh, could they have given me a tinier, tinier amount of? Hollandaise? It's like a teaspoon left after it all reduces. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for it to boil again and I got it off the heat. I got the heat off. It could be holly. Maybe that's why. Maybe I need to try it with a plastic bowl. Let's taste it. It doesn't have salt or anything yet in it, but... It's definitely broken. See how it's got separated? I think I need to... Oh my gosh. That tastes like straight up butter. All right, let's try this again. Oh look, Karen Davis is watching me again. At least 300 times. I don't know. All right, let's try that again. That one totally broke. Totally broke. Let's get a different bowl. And let's not, let's not use pre-melted butter because maybe those, because that butter kind of had separated, maybe that's my problem. All right. Redo. Dump that out. All right. I got to get a clean bowl here. I would just take one out of the cabinet, but I've used them all up. Like, this is a recipe for, like, ten people, because how on earth am I supposed to keep that egg hot, fry my ham, saute my asparagus, toast my bagel, or my English muffin, poach my egg, make my hollandaise? How am I supposed to do this all at once? It's going to be cold. All right. Let's see. Do I have a plastic bowl that's clean? Tis the question. Let's see, would this fit over this? No, of course it wouldn't, Kate Kelly. No, too big. And this one is ginormous, but that will work. Alright, let's try this again. I don't have any glass bowls big enough, I don't think, to fit over this. I don't have the right size glass bowl, so we're going to have to use plastic to try it again. Alright, butter. Where's my, I, I need fresh butter. All right, I already got some out. So I need three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm not gonna use my pre-melted stuff because it's separated and I feel like maybe that, I feel like maybe that was part of the contributor to the death of my hollandaise. I don't know. Everybody's saying glass bowl. And somebody else says stainless. No plastic, Katie? Ever, now people say no plastic. I don't know. I don't think I have a glass bowl that will... My butter's exploding. Yeah, my glass bowls aren't going to fit in there. Why no plastic? Is it good? Why? Why is it a bad idea? Oh no, this plastic won't melt. This is like cheap Walmart plastic. It won't melt. Alright. I won't use plastic. 
Somebody tell me what to do. A smaller pan, a smaller pot, and a glass bowl. All right. I don't think. Did I already try that? That's way too big. There we go. That one won't fit there, right? Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. Put the hot water in a smaller pot. Put the glass full. Okay. I think we're good. I think that will fit. That looks like it's going to work. Okay. Now what do I got to do? I got to whisk together. Let's dump out this. This is far too stressful. My poor poached egg is cold. I didn't know, Rosanna, that this was gonna be this challenging. I did not know. I was not aware of the effort involved in Eggs Benedict. Now I know. Now I know why it cost $27.50 at the restaurant. It's because it took three men and a small child to make it. All right. I'm going to wait to add my, my lemon juice. Oh, my word. Use your already hot water. Why didn't I think of that? See, I just, I, I don't think like a cook. That water's already hot. You guys are so smart. Duh. All right. Well, I mean, it wasn't that much hotter than when that was. But if I had thought of that three minutes ago. All right, what was I going to do? I was going to get out a pan to make my asparagus and my ham. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I know the directions say don't put cooking spray. I know they're brand new pans and I should be following the instructions, but I'm putting cooking spray on because it's who I am. It's who I am. All right. I'm going to need ham. I have, I do not have special little, um, drop your egg in the double boil water to reheat. Oh, good idea, Crystal. You look like a chef or something. Oh. All right. I'm not using like fancy circular Canadian bacon. I'm using redneck ham because that's what I like. And you're supposed to have one little thin slice, but girl, I'm not a one little thin slice of anything kind of a girl. So I'm going to have a crap ton because I want to. And it's my breakfast and I'll do what I want to do. And nobody's going to tell me I can't have six slices of ham. <laughs> All right. I got my little wee baby asparagus. Got to have that. Oh, it's breaking. And rinse it off. All right. My water is getting ready. And I'm going to throw my asparagus in my pan with my um, ham and just let it do its thing. Well, Crystal, girl, you need to come over here and make me breakfast because uh, this is challenging. And I'm just making it for one person because while I'm eating Eggs Benedict, I'm feeding my kid tater tots. Not because, oh, not because that's a bad mom move, but that's because that's what she wanted. All right, whisk your egg and your lemon juice until combined. Lower the heat on your stove. Put your bowl on top of the stove and whisk it for three to five minutes. Okay. 
they don't need to be that long. And did I heat up my butter before I put this on here? I did, because it exploded. And it exploded, but I still need a little bit more. Whoops, sorry you guys, right in your face. I don't want it to go very long. Keepers, that was two seconds and you're already exploding butter? Calm yourself. You guys. <laughs> this bag here don't leave eggs on the heat as long they definitely don't need to be that long and then slowly drizzle the butter over while whisking constantly i've made hollandaise several times all right how do i know when the egg is thick enough to add the butter how do i know how will i know i don't know hello from austin texas you have power yay that's awesome, Brenda. I'm so glad you don't have any busted pipes. That is a nightmare. We've dealt with those before. Even way before you were born, girlfriend. We used to get frozen pipes all the time in the trailer. Okay. I'm waiting for it to get frothy and thick. I'm working on it. Use that cute bait. Should I be using a smaller whisk? Would it be better with a smaller whisk? In my big bowl. My smaller whisk is dirty. I can't. My smaller whisk is dirty. Yeah. Maren says, and? As if, mom, just use them anyway. All right. How was your house hunting? Eh, not so good. We went, we just looked at a few floor plans that we liked, but... My daughter's panicking when I say that because she doesn't want to move. We're just looking for something bigger. No, or, no. Maren, calm down. We're not moving. Or a redo of this house. I don't want that. Oh, we'll talk about that later. She's freaking out. Christy, what does my shirt say? It says, surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. All right. Just add the butter slowly and take it off. If it needs to be thicker, put it back on the heat. Do I add the butter while it's on the heat? Or do I add the butter off the heat? According to the instructions, I do it off the heat. It's getting thick now. So. Alright, I'm going to add it on the heat. I don't know if that's right or not, but I'm going to slowly drizzle this. And whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. Drizzle and whisk, drizzle and whisk, drizzle and whisk. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I think I did it. I need a mint. Oh, that's hot. Goes, there goes a spoon. Look, I did it. I did it. I have holiday sauce and I'm going to drop it. Oh my gosh. I did it. Now is it going to ruin if I sit it here for a minute? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, now I need to add a little salt, it says. And a little bit of cayenne. And I threw my magnetic things away because they're getting on my nerves. So I gotta get my cane out of the cupboard. Not that much. That would cause some fiery issues later today. All right. Whisk in the seasoning. Oh my word. I can't even see your comments because I'm too obsessed with my holidays. I'm so excited. I can't believe it worked. I'm gonna turn my heat back on so I can rewarm up my egg. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful sauce. Oh my, mm. That is good. I'm gonna knock my hair right out of its, right out of its little clippies. All right. My ham is a little bit overdone, but that's okay. I like it because I got too wound up with my 
too wound up with my uh, my hollandaise, but that's okay. It's not burnt, it's just really dark. I'm gonna move it over here. And I'm going to add a little bit of, of this separated butter, not with that spoon, just gonna pour in a little bit of this butter with my asparagus. Oh, it cooks that. Woo, girl, not that much. This is exciting. Wow, that is hot pan. All right, oh my gosh. I am ridiculously excited. Let me get my poached egg back in the water for a minute to warm up. My beautiful poached egg that I'm so excited about. And I need to get a pan. Plate, not a pan. And I need to get my English muffin. I've got my beautifully toasted English muffin. I'm gonna put some butter on it. This is exciting. I'm gonna put some of my melted butter on it. I'm gonna pour some butter onto my English muffin. Yes, it's crispy. I let it sit there a few minutes too long, but that's okay. All right, shut off the heat, shut off the heat. All right. So what goes first, ham and then egg, right? Ham, put my ham on top. Let's bring, let's come back over here where y'all can see better. This is, this is an S helper, Christy, because I'm only having half of an English muffin. So I got my ham and now I'm going to put my poached egg on it. Where's my slotted spoon? Over here in the sink. I'm gonna put my rewarmed up poached egg this is so exciting, look. This is so exciting, oh my gosh. I've got my poached egg. And I wanna get my asparagus on the plate. I don't know, asparagus for breakfast? Why not, girl, why not? This is a Sunday morning breakfast if I ever Saw one. Holy Hannah. Okay. And now my beautiful Hollandaise. I got all my burners off. This is the tiniest amount of Hollandaise ever. Can you see my plate? Oh my gosh, look. Oh, the angels are singing, you guys. The angels are singing right now. I'm gonna put a little bit on my asparagus. Oh man, I have a feeling I could eat about three times that amount of holidays, but that's a lot of butter. This is a beautiful S helper, you guys. Oh my God! counter and eat this this beautiful breakfast I am going to sit down at the kitchen table like a proper eggs benedict eating individual and I'll bring you with me girl I need to sit here and enjoy this oh land sakes alive look at that Seriously, I need a picture before I break into that. Someone take a screenshot, okay? <laughs> do it, do it quick. Oh, I sit here and look like an idiot. I hope somebody got one. All right, I'm gonna assume somebody got one. This is so exciting. <laughs> I've never been this happy about breakfast in my life. Oh my gosh. My egg, if it's anything like Master Chef, the sunlight is hitting my forehead really bright right here. <laughs> I'm glowing. That's how excited I am. Oh, Gordon, where are you when I need you? I'm gonna cut into it. I'm so excited. Oh, look, 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 look at my egg yolk. It does just what it does on the Master Chef. 
Oh, and my English muffin's a little toasty. That's okay. I, I get crunchy. It's not, it's not that bad. It just sounds really bad. Look at that poached egg. Holy. The dog is like an inch and a half from my face right now. Yeah, my English muffin's a little toasty. That's okay. Oh, look. <laughs> my English muffin's crunchy. I'm entirely too excited by my breakfast right now. Can you all see? Look at the dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. If I was proper, I'd be drinking this with a cup of coffee. But I'm not. I'm drinking it with a salt or water. Oh, land sakes. Maren, would you like to try Eggs Benedict? No, thank you. You don't even want to taste it? Mm, I don't know. I'm not a big vinegar person. You can, no, 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 honey. The vinegar just helps it cook. You don't taste vinegar. There's no flavor of vinegar. It's not in the food. It's just what it was cooked in. You don't want to try it? What's in it? Egg? Mmm. Mmm. English muffin. Is it like that melty, melty yolk? No, it's not super melty. Look, mm. sauce, ham, English muffin. I'm good. Thanks anyway. <laughs> so you won't try it. All right, you guys, I'm looking excited. I'm going to eat this. And my adorable little hollandaise covered asparagus. Huh? Nothing. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you joined me and saw me succeed. <laughs> I was really worried it was going to fail big time. All right. I got on the scale this morning, you guys, and I was down two more pounds. So I hit 34 this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Anyway, I was down officially 34 pounds this morning. I'm going to hit 35 real soon. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So, all right. Thank you for joining me this morning. It was, <laughs> yes, Crystal. She wouldn't eat an Egg McMuffin if I paid her. Rude. <laughs> Rude. She doesn't like runny yolk. Whatever. I get to eat the whole thing. It's one more bite for me. All right, you guys. I love you all. Thanks for joining me and putting up with my nonsense as I attempted to make. Um, man, that sunlight is like making my forehead holy. <laughs> as I attempted to make and succeeded holy hannah at eggs benedict i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna savor every single bite and i may give one little piece here that's it that's all you get sebastian <laughs> so all right have a beautiful sunday you guys i may or may not make dessert later today i don't you'll just have to wait and see <laughs> all right have a great day love you guys bye